we got to talk about it, AJ. Let's just get straight into it. Anthony Hernandez, Hernandez he tombstone pile drives Mark Andre Barriolt into the canvas. When you saw that, I got, I really need a thought out opinion right here. When you saw that, were you like, holy fucking shit, man? Like, how does, like, this dude Hernandez is leveling up. He's lost, he's trimming down on the weight. You know what I mean? He's looking like a legit phenom right now. He's looking like he's going to be a big problem in this middleweight division. So let me just ask you, like, that moment, did all hope of Barriolt winning? go out the window when he got slammed on his head into the, into the cage. What do you think? Not all hope, but a <laughs> damn big chunk of it, man. And what really, what really went through my mind was like, holy shit, Hernandez is gaining that like old man, not old man strength, but like the man strength. He's coming into his body. This dude is dangerous, man, and fought, fought very spry and wiry and like just like he used to, but just now even more strong and dangerous, man. This is nobody, nobody does it to power bar, man. No, no. Picks him up, straight up, uh, pile drives him. Yeah, like... <laughs> This was uh, this was one of those moves that you uh, you do to your little cousin on the couch or on the trampoline, fucking around <laughs> with him. You, you can bully him because you can. Yeah. This is Hernandez doing the same thing, man. Pilot putting your head into the canvas. Yeah, and I, I do have to say, man, I I do hope that Barryald is all good. You know what I mean? You know he's gonna be sore today, tomorrow, but I hope he's all good because literally, like when I saw that, I was like, this dude might have just broke his neck. Like he might have just literally killed a man in there. Like that's how dangerous this felt to me. The point is, man, Hernandez, not only did he have great work with his striking, right? Because if you look at it, 58 out of 84 strikes. It was a very low striking affair, right? Eight takedowns, man. That was the thing. He Corey Sanhagen, Sanhagen to him, you know what I mean? Where he gave him everything to think about. He's like, I'm going to box you up and then I'm going to take you down. Then we're going to get up. Then I'm going to box you up. Then I'm going to take you down again. And every single moment of this fight, I know my cardio is so good. I believe and rely on my cardio so much. You're not, I'm not going to give you a second to breathe. I'm not going to give you a second to get into your rhythm. And I'm not going to lie to you, man. Even though I'm a big fan of Power Bar, I didn't feel like there was three seconds of combined motion or momentum where Burial was in the driver's seat. I just didn't feel it. I felt like it was Hernandez pitching a shutout. How did you, how did you think about it? No, this is Hernandez. Maybe not entirely a shutout because I feel like there was very, there was slight glimmers, not, not even full moments or full combos, but there were slight glimmers where I thought, oh man, like he's getting good counter shots. Mm. Not driving, not leading the driver's seat or leading the dance, but he had good counter shots and good reads yeah. to where he's making a good fight. But this was uh, a her f fluffy Hernandez performance to the T. It was amazing. Brother, yeah, this dude looked so, so fantastic, man. And like I said, man, just go back and rewatch the fight and watch when he pile drives him into the cage. The cage is literally dented. Like, he literally broke the cage, man. Like, th this was phenomenal. And then to pull off the third round submission at the end, man, this was just overall clinic. Shout out to Fluffy Hernandez, man. Huge, huge win. Uh, uh, we already know Burial will be back. We know this dude's game. He's not giving up on himself, man. But that was a it was a hell of a, a main card right there. <laughs>